And in this particular video, we're going to be talking about the midpoint. So hopefully you know what that means. And if you don't know what that means, I'll explain this in a second. But uh, let's go and take a look at the question. It says the midpoint between uh, this point here, 2, 3, and another mystery point, x, y. Well, the midpoint between these two points is 5, 10. So the question is, what is x and y, i.e., what is this coordinate? All right, so if you think you could solve this problem, I'm going to put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to explain what the midpoint is, and I'm going to show you the midpoint formula, and then we're going to take a look at the steps to solve this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to just uh, see the answer here, then we'll talk about what the midpoint is. So again, we're trying to find what X and Y is, uh, uh, specifically, what is the coordinate or the ordered pair, uh, the point here, uh, where two, three, and this mystery point, the midpoint between this point is 5, 10, and the answer uh, is 8, 17. So this is the point uh, this is x, this is y. Remember, we're talking about an ordered pair, x, y. So x would be equal to 8, and y would be equal to 17. All right, so if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you were able to solve a midpoint formula question today. They would be very impressed to know uh, that uh, you were able to take care of that math problem about the midpoint. All right, so let's just talk about what is the midpoint. Well, it's very simple. Let me kind of just sketch out a quick little x, y um, little plane here. So here's x, here's y. So if we have one point right here, let me kind of actually use a different color. So here's a point here, and let's say here's another point here. So this is one point, here's another point. So what is the point that's in between these two points? So this would be one point x, y. Here's another point over here, another x, y point. What's the midpoint? Well, it would be the middle point. It's the, it's the point, the location that is halfway between these two points. Just imagine you're taking a, uh, a you're just drawing a straight line from this point to this point, halfway along this path to go from here to here is what we call the midpoint. And it is going to be another specific point, i.e. the midpoint. And uh, in algebra, there's a lot of different words for a point on the xy plane. Uh, and you should know these words, this terminology, it is important. One is what we call an ordered pair, or an ordered pair. So it's a pair of values, right, x and y. And there is a specific order, x first and then y second. So you need to know... Uh, kind of the basics on how to plot a point or describe a uh, the location of a point on the xy plane. So this would be an, uh, a coordinate. That's one way to describe that. An ordered pair, a point. So those are some uh, terminology, some terms, hopefully you know. But anyways, the objective here is to find the midpoint, okay? Uh, but really, what are we actually finding? We know what the midpoint is, right? So the midpoint between... 2, 3, and x, y is 5, 10. So this point here, 5, 10, is in fact the midpoint between these two points, 2, 3. So here we have one point. Let's just make sure you understand the nature of the problem. This is 1, 2, 3. That midpoint is the point 5, 10. So what is this other point? Okay, so this point, 2, 3, and this point, these are the two points uh, that um, uh, are in question, and uh, the midpoint between the 2, 3, and this other point, x, y, its midpoint is 5, 10, all right? So that is the nature of the question. So it's a little bit different, a little bit trickier uh, than a normal, regular midpoint question, which would be, here's two points, find the midpoint here. We're given the midpoint, we want to find this other point. So this will require some really basic algebra, not that difficult, but uh, let's go ahead and make sure you understand what the midpoint formula is. It's very simple. The midpoint formula is effectively the average, the average of the x's. Okay, so here, if we have two 
x points, okay, our, our x coordinates are in our, in our two points. So here and here, these are our x's. If we average those out, that's going to be our x coordinate for our midpoint. And then if we average out the y's, and how do you find the average of two um, uh, pieces of information or two numbers? Well, you just simply add them up and divide by two. Okay, so that's where we get the two at. So the formula sometimes is a little intimidating. People are like, try to remember this. It's not that difficult. All we're doing is averaging the x's and averaging the y's. That's what this says algebraically. And that's how we get the midpoint. All right, so in this case, the average of the x's is what? Well, it's two and this x. If we average this out, if we take two plus x and then we divide that by two, the answer is five. Okay, that's what we're saying. And then here, if we take three and add it to this y, okay, then we divide that by two, the answer is 10. So we're just gonna have to set up some basic algebraic equations to solve, and you'll see that this is super easy. All right, so again, the midpoint is a specific xy point, it is 510, and the two points that we're averaging is 2, 3, and xy, we just know that the answer is 510. So how can we uh, solve for x and y very easily? Okay, so let's go ahead and use our two points here, and we know that the average, again, of the x's, uh, which would be 2 and x, is 5, and the average of the y's is uh, going to be 10. All right, so let's go ahead and build or construct a, a, um, an equation for this. So x, that x coordinate plus two, divide that by two is going to be five. So this is one equation we need to set up. And then the other equation is going to involve the y. So it's gonna be y plus three, divide that by two is gonna be equal to 10, right? So the average of the y's again is going to be 10. So this is a y coordinate. This is our other y coordinate. So 3 plus y, divide that by 2. We know the answer is going to be equal to 10. All right, so but a lot of you out there are probably saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I get it. You've explained this 10 times over. Well, I'm doing that, I'm doing this because some of you out there might still be confused about this, but hopefully you understand the setup. And if you understand the setup, all we have to do is solve these two basic equations right here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. Okay, so we're gonna solve for X and solve for Y. Let's go ahead and um, take this first uh, equation here. So we have X plus two over two is equal to five. How can we solve for X? We'll just put this over one. This is the easiest way to solve this. And here we can just use the cross product to solve for X, okay? Now, if this algebra is bothering you, then you need to do some algebra review uh, and midpoints. And I would suggest checking out like my pre-algebra or algebra one course if you need additional help with this stuff. But anyways, if we do the cross product, so one times x plus two is x plus two, two times five is 10. That's the easiest way to do that. Or you can multiply both sides of the equation by two, two uh, which would be the lowest common denominator. But um, hopefully you know how to solve a basic equation like this, very, very important. Anyways, when we do that, we got x plus two is equal to 10, okay? So when we solve for x, I'm, um, so I'm gonna subtract two from both sides of the equation, and I get x is equal to eight. All right, very simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and solve for y here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna use the cross product. We can think of this as a basic proportion, all right? Two equal fractions, so one times y plus three is y plus three, 
and that's going to be equal to 2 times 10, which is 20. So when I solve for y it's by subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation, I get y is equal to 17. All right, so remember, x is 8 and y is equal to 17, but what does that represent? Well, it represents the ordered pair, the x, y ordered pair, 8, 17. So again, x is 8 and y is equal to 7, 10. There you go. So anyways, what's the point of this problem? Well, a couple things. I think, uh, one, you need to understand the midpoint formula. And if you're studying the midpoint, you're also probably studying the distance formula. These are very important formulas in what we call analytic geometry. That's very kind of complex sounding, right? Analytic geometry. What is analytic geometry? Well, it's just basically geometry uh, on the xy plane. Okay, so instead of having a triangle all by itself, if I describe a triangle by various coordinates, now that's analytic geometry. If I have a geometry just hanging out all by its lonesome, that would be like Euclidean geometry. So you need to know uh, both of these. But, uh, you know, this is all this stuff, you know, there is that relationship uh, between geometry and algebra and knowing how to interpret a problem like this and solve for these, um, you know, these uh, variables in a situation like this, you know, this, this is the type of problem that you're going to see um, or similar type of problem or version of this problem when you're dealing with the distance formula and other type of problems as well. So, uh, you know, if you're like, yeah, this is, I'll never see this again. Well, I can assure you, if you continue to study algebra and geometry, you'll definitely see problems of this type of flavor. All right, but uh, hopefully this helped you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.